Moving now to Class B basketball, multiple top-ranked matchups here as well on both the boys' and girls' side. We start in Beulah with the fifth-ranked Miters boys hosting fourth-ranked Enderlin. First possession for the Eagles, Carson Bartholome finds G Gus Holbert in the corner. The 6'8 forward showing he can shoot two. The Miners would trade shots early, though. This time it's All-Stater Trey Brandt splitting two defenders and getting to the basket with a finger roll finish. Enderlin made plays all game, though, including this save and pass ahead to Joe Hurlbert, who finishes with the slam and one. Enderlin gets the win 71 to 64. In boys' action up north, our Redeemers hosting North Star. We picked this one up in the fourth quarter off the inbound pass. It's William Sanders coming off the screen, pulls up with a hand in his face and makes it look easy for three. Back come the Bearcats. Tommy Nicklazen comes off the screen to answer back. A three of his own. How about that for trading shots? Now, Knight, Zach Henderson working from the top of the key, blows past the defender to the left side and hits a nice runner in the lane. Our Redeemers win 79-64. Dickinson Trinity knocking off the number one team in the state, 62-57. to Moving to girls action now. Rugby, the eighth-ranked team in the state, playing host to Kidder County today. Wolves getting it to Kennedy Harder. The shoulder hesitation and then the turnaround jumper just barely falls for two. Back come the Panthers. Bless them. Passes it to Kendall Hager in the corner. She drains the corner three. Rugby running the break here later in the first. But Wolves, Kennedy Harder with the pickpocket still. She takes it coast to coast for the lay-in. Kidder County gets the upset 44 to 38. Felva hosting Carrington. Fourth quarter action is where we pick this one up. Carrington working the ball around to Hannah Hagel on the wing. She drives baseline, lays it up, and gets the foul call for the extra foul. Felva inbounding now straight to Sophie Hackman in the corner. Fires the contested three and sinks it, making it look easy. But Carrington rolling down the stretch. They move it around, finding Sydney Grager. 